months ago, I made a Discord bot that was really terrible. So today, I'm gonna fix that and make my dream Discord bot. And boom, after about three hours of work, I had all the backend stuff set up and the bot was ready to be worked on. Here's the plan. One, add a full music feature to the bot. Psh, this should be easy. And two, well, I haven't quite figured that out yet. So for the music bot, I'm gonna be following Codeline's tutorial, and yes, this is the same tutorial I used in my old video, but um, uh, <coughs> yeah, I got started. Okay, so since I had made a music bot using this tutorial before, it was a uh, really easy, especially because of a rep the sponsor of the video and the platform I used to make this bot makes it really easy to install packages with the built-in package installer. The big difference though was I understood a lot more of what was done in the tutorial, which was vital for what I would decide to make later on. There was one big problem though: the bot was really really slow. Every time you ask it to play a song, it takes at least 10 seconds to join and play the song, which is if the bot decides not to crash after playing certain videos. I tried for literal hours to figure out why this is happening and how to fix it, but to no avail, and I ended up just giving up. And I'm mentioning this because these types of videos always make everything seem trouble free, but in reality, Coding is tough. Anyways, I probably would have figured out how to fix this if I hadn't gotten distracted and started working on a game for a freaking week. Bro. And when I got back to working on the bot, I completely forgot about this. I only remembered that I was at the point where I needed to- for what was next, I luckily had some things in mind I wanted to add to the bot. Here's the plan, again. Four, subscribe. Four, I'm gonna make a meme command. And five, the most ambitious idea yet, a full economy system. Dang, man, this is gonna be tough, but it should be fine. I mean, I'll have enough time, right? Okay, so you might be confused on what a meme command does, and basically it just grabs a meme from the meme subreddit and sends it. So if you see some really crappy memes, they're not mine, alright? Now, to make the meme command, you need to use Reddit's API, which I didn't really know anything about. I think you already know where I'm going with this. And I found this really good tutorial by Fusion Terror, who had a really meme. freaking loud keyboard. Can you do Holy meme crap, I still hear my to? sleep. Um, equals new. Anyways, in about an hour, I would got the meme command done and looking clean. Like, look at this. You just type in dash meme, and look at that. You get a really crappy meme, dude. Let's go. Now, I was feeling really good about the bot at this point, and I thought to myself, hey, what could possibly go wrong? Dude, oh my gosh. There are so many freaking errors, dude. I'm done. Like, I'm actually done right now, dude. I can't freaking deal with this anymore. All right, so this was going to be the most challenging feature yet, a dank beamer style economy system. So I threw some code line tutorials into a playlist, which I literally named hell and got ready for hell. But on a serious note, it really shouldn't be too hard because I have as much time as I need. Bro, I just remembered I have to leave for vacation in literally three days. I'm not gonna have enough freaking time. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to finish, am I? Luckily, by some miracle, there was only three videos in the tutorial series, which meant I would now have to do one tutorial each day now and nothing less. Otherwise, there was no way I could complete the boss. So, I opened up the hell playlist and began the three days of hell. But right before I talk about the pain I'm about to go through, I just want to tell you that if you guys want to check out the code for the Discord bot, you can just use the link in the description or type in join.replit.com slash NathanOnline into any browser and you can actually see all the code for the bot and all the packages I installed or just see all the code that's about to cause me a whole bunch of pain. You can do this by just clicking this button here to fork the code and you can actually modify and run your own project with my code. It's pretty cool. Anyways, back to the video. Alright, so at first everything was going really well. I mean... I had no idea what I was doing trying to make a database, like, I should not be trying to do this. But nonetheless, it was still going well. Until, well, uh, Dude, oh my gosh, there are so many freaking errors, dude. I'm done. Like, I'm actually done right now, dude. I can't freaking deal with this anymore. I was feeling really down at this point because I had been trying so hard to fix the wave of errors to absolutely nothing. And I was honestly ready to give up. I just don't know what to do, man. I was literally thinking on that walk back on how I could somehow save this video without the economy feature, but I decided to go and calm one last time and try to fix everything. And if I couldn't, then I was done. And after trying to fix the error one last time. Bro, it freaking worked. It freaking worked. I changed some parameters up here. And it works! It, I'm so happy. I am so happy right now. After this, I was ecstatic. I completely belted out the rest of the tutorial, and everything was up and working with time to spare, which leads me to...
From this point, everything was smooth sailing. I added a bank feature where you can deposit coins from your wallet into the bank and a balance command where you can check how many coins you have in both, which I have used a database for, which was really weird to work with just because I've never worked with it before. But if you're curious, it was 3T Studios and MongoDB, both free and uh, good. Anyways, I then added a beg command to beg for coins, a search command to look for coins, and a withdraw command to withdraw coins from your bank. And that's when I realized I was done. I had finished the tutorial series and I could go on my vacation without any worries. Anyways, join the Discord server because my bot's on there and I'll see you next time.